This is the uh, rudder stock to my, uh, it goes on my uh, McGregor uh, 22 foot sailboat. It's made out of aluminum. It's been formed into like a U shape. The gudgeons are welded on. And inside the U shape is where you put the, uh, the tiller, tiller bar fits inside here. And when you turn that, you turn the rudder. And down here, there's a pin that holds the actual fiberglass rudder itself. Now these pins, both holding the tiller and the rudder, uh, had worn over time. It was a stainless steel bolt inside aluminum. And in the 30 years of the boat being around, they had worn eggy. The pin is uh, a 3 8 inch bolt that's .375 and I was measuring up here at uh, .420 so that's a lot of play and that meant that the tiller when you steered you wiggled it a lot before the rudder returned. It wasn't very precise. Uh, I'm going to sleeve it with stainless steel. Let me show you how I board it. All right, that's a uh, that's a boring tool in my uh, so there's the mill and uh, it has a cutting tool on it and you uh, turn the mill on and it rotates then you lower it down with this handle into the hole and it takes a cut. I'm not going to take a cut because I've already, to tell you the truth, finished the holes. I use a similar technique over here to cut this one. And I, the thing is long enough that I can cut at the top and just keep on going and cut the bottom one too. Okay. Here's the gudgeons that uh, attach to the boat. And these are called the pintles. Right here, two of them. Pull the pin, pull the pin, you drop the rudder in here, put the pin back in to hold it in place, and then from the top, you move the tiller bar and you move the rudder. And this is the uh, fiberglass rudder. This hole right here is the part that attaches to the rudder, gets the pin through it. Uh, this hole here is uh, goes through a pulley that keeps the rudder down when you're moving and this one this hole here allows you to pull the rudder up when you hit shallow water uh, it was coated with uh, with paint I had to chip it all off I'll probably do a little more on it not in bad shape though it's actually uh, fairly high-tech hollow inside it uh, fills with water and drains when you pull it up so and what I've been waiting for in the mail was the stainless to make the sleeves. So uh, it came today. There it is. One inch stainless. This little chunk cost me uh, 22 bucks. <laughs> I believe it's uh, 316 which was recommended for uh, marine use. I've worked with 304. It was really hard. I'm hoping this is annealed and I can cut it. To the lathe! Oh boy, let's see how it cuts. I got kind of busy machining there and uh, needed both hands. Uh, it cuts really well. You can see I've uh, I've roughed it out. I drilled um, 348, so I got to bore out some, and I left a little on the uh, on the diameter there too. Uh, I wanted to bore it first before I got a size. Then I'm gonna, I guess. Uh, I take it out and saw it off instead of trying to part it so I could save some metal. Uh, it cuts really well. I was surprised. Look at the nice chips. Just using a Chinese drill. I mean, it's it's not a super drill or anything. And uh, oh yeah, and I uh, I drilled with a smaller drill, kind of pre-drilled it. Uh, it reduces uh, 
you can see if you drill a small hole it reduces the uh, chiseling effect for the bigger drill and it takes less force and everything stays a little cooler. So far I'm quite pleased. I got it poured bored out. It's um, probably 376 maybe and a half something like that. So after cutoff, that's the finished part in there which I can now grab in the three jaw chuck and I, the, this is the part the saw cut so I have to clean it up and take it down to the depth I want. Well that's the uh, bushing uh, in place. I got a number six screw. Uh, it's pressed in but I put that in in case temperature variations and it'll wear. <clears throat> it doesn't pop out. It's kind of a keeper keeper screw. See the pin fits in there. This is the uh, pin. It's actually a uh, 3 8 inch uh, stainless bolt. And you can see it goes through uh, fairly well. When you put it halfway out you can see it's kind of loose. And the same on the other side. Just a tad. But when you put it through just hear a tad of a knock in there, just a little bit. It's pretty tight. So that's the top of the rudder stock. Now I have to do where the rudder actually mounts. Now it was uh, it was pretty badly uh, it was pretty badly corroded. Somebody tightened a uh, hex nut on there and it worn into the aluminum. So I had to do a bigger size on it. I was uh, kind of in a hurry, so I didn't have time to uh, film the process. But these bushings here are very similar. And this is the part that actually uh, holds the rudder on. The other end holds the tiller. So that's a nice fit. And instead of boring them, I just drilled them with the V-drill and it's perfect. So that saved me maybe uh, half an hour, 45 minutes. I love it. Well, uh, perhaps you're wondering why I'm in a coat. And in the rest of the video, in my, I'm in my shirt sleeves. Well, I uh, I taped the rest of the uh, the video uh, last summer, and I'm just getting around to editing it uh, when I noticed I didn't actually show me putting the rudder on the boat to uh, show how it's not loose anymore, uh, how I fixed it. Okay, I've got the rudder sitting down right here, and it's assembled. I've got the uh, the tiller on and the rudders on the bottom so it's a little heavy. It weighs about uh, 35 40 pounds. And you can see it goes like this. And these pins, the gudgeons form right over the pintles. And they sit down like that. For this demonstration I actually want to pull the rudder up and then the rudder will hang from this rope won't drag on the ground and you can see a little bit of play in it but believe me it's a lot less than when I started and you don't have to tighten this down tight to press these in uh, to get it to be tight because it's in the uh, it's in the bushings is controls the uh, the sway and therefore you can still lift this up and down fairly easily which is handy when you're in the cockpit So here am I, got out here to demonstrate, and I was going to sit down and show you how the uh, the tiller works, but the uh, there's ice on the uh, on the seat, so I'm just going to show you like this. See, that's pretty stiff. A little bit of play, but hardly none at all. It used to be like you'd have to go like this before you'd start steering, so you don't have to do that anymore. Oh well, glad I got it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to uh, hope spring comes soon so I can get the ghetto out on the water. That's my boat, the ghetto.